So definitions are very, very important in proving or disproving the arguments, all right? I don't need you to memorize the definitions, but you need to know and you need to understand the definitions by heart, in a sense, to apply them in your argumentation, all right? Whether you want to prove it, the argument or disprove it, first of all, you need to understand the definition. You need to know the definition. But again, that doesn't mean memorizing the definition. For this course in particular, you don't need to memorize anything. You can always open the textbook or the lecture notes or the videos and sort of recover the definition. But what you need is to understand the definition, all right? I don't know if you can see, but there's, there's, there's a very important difference between understanding and memorizing it. So what is the definition of utility function representing a binary relation? It says the following. It means the following, sorry, for any uh, two alternatives, here my alternatives are vectors, right? X, Y, and U, V in R, uh, oops, plus is here, square is there, R plus square, um, X, Y, at least as good as U, V, if and only if uh, U of X, Y greater than or equal to U of U, V, right? Okay, uh, what is u of x, y? Well, according to my utility function, it's x times y. What is my u of u, v? Well, according to my utility function, it's u times v. Well, this argument we know is true, right? x, y is at least as good as u, v, if and only if x, y greater than or equal to u, v, simply by the definition of this preference relation, this binary relation. Hence, that's it. Um, so we just proved, I mean, you don't really need to say anything else. Uh, all you need to say is maybe, uh, let me just a bit more formal. One more step. X, Y is at least as good as U, V, if and only if X times Y greater than or equal to U times V, uh, by the definition of U function. And we know that this argument is this argument is true by the definition of the binary relation relation at least as good as. So therefore, uh, this utility function represents this binary relation as simple as this. Any question? All right. Well, what about this? Well, what if my utility function is x plus y? Clearly, you're not going to be able to say this, right? Because uh, utility of xy is not x times y, it's x plus y. Utility of uv is not u times v, it's u plus v. So I'm not going to be able to sort of copycat this entire proof and say, well, voila, it's, it's, it's the, here's the proof. No, it's not going to work. Um, so, well, maybe I should start thinking of counterexamples, right? Um, what does that mean? That means find some xy and uh, uv, sum, where xy is at least as good as uv, all right? But, but, uh, utility of uv is strictly greater than, that's important, utility of xy. Because if it is, for example, equal, that's not a sort of a contradiction, right? It should be strictly higher. So if I can find such an example, then that would be the proof that this utility function is not actually representing the binary relation, all right? It's a counterexample. I, I hope that is clear. If, if, if it is not, please ask me now so that I can, I, I, I try to, uh, you know, formalize it in a, another way. Um, so think about it. I mean, I, I don't have a specific numerical examples, but let's think. Um, if you find an example, let me know. Always write down what you know. I know that if this is true, right, it is an if and only statement because of the definition, uh, x, y, x times y should be greater than or equal to u, v. Hmm. So what do I need is the following. When I, and by the way, what does that mean? That means x plus, I'm sorry, this is not x. This is, 
u plus v strictly greater than x plus v. So I need x, y, u, v, where when I multiply them, x, y is greater than u, v, but when I add them up, u, v is greater than x, y. All right? Uh, so I am in positive numbers. Think about it. Well, zero is always a tricky number, right? Let's say v is zero. So when I multiply it by u, u times v is going to be zero, very small. However, when I add it with zero, let's make u very big, 100. So u plus v is going to be huge, 100, but its multiplication is zero, tiny. And x, y, well, I don't know, 2 and 2. When I multiply them, it's 4 greater than 0. When I add them up, it's 4. It's hot less than 100. So you know what? I got the example. There you go. So once again, xy is equal to uh, 2 and 2. And uv is equal to uh, 100 and 0. So for these two bundles, alternatives, both of them are in r plus square, right? Yes. I know that xy is at least as good as uv. Why is that so? Because xy is equal to 4 and u times v is equal to 0. So 4 is greater than or equal to 0. Hence, xy is at least as good as uv. All right. But when I look at the utility values of uv and xy, the utility of uv is 100 plus 0, which is 100. But and the utility of xy is 2 plus 2, which is 4. So therefore, utility of uv is greater than utility of xy. So what does that mean? Well, a utility function representing a binary relation means whenever I have one vector, one alternative at least as good as other, I must have that the utility of this alternative is greater than or equal to utility of the other alternative. But you know what? This doesn't hold here. So therefore, this utility function does not represent this binary relation. Um, 